Good morning. You're welcome to the 612 podcast. This is the money devotion. Oh, hello, hello. Good morning. You're welcome to the 612 podcast. As you know, it's an audio devotional podcast that is said to get you started for your day, play activity in God's word. And don't forget, today is, today is day two of um, the book of Judges, day two. I will be reading um, Judges um, chapter two. And um, let us pray. Sweet and everlasting Father, we say thank you for your love, your goodness, your mercies upon our lives. Thank you for your word that is coming forth to us today. As we study your word, O oh Lord, help us not to just be the heir, but also the doer of your word. Help us, O oh Lord, to learn from your word. Help your word to, to clean and to, uh, to wash our lives and wash sins and um, nature of man out and help us with the nature of God in us in the name of Jesus. Thank you for that from Jesus. Let me pray. Amen. Amen. We are starting from Judges 2 and I'm reading from the New Living Translation. Okay. The angel of the Lord went up to Giga to Bokim and said to Israelites, I brought you out of Egypt into this land that I swore to give your ancestors. And I said I would never break my covenant with you. For your part, you were not to make any covenant with the people living in this land. Instead, you were to destroy their altars. Now, quickly, I just want to make us understand here that, you see, when God makes a covenant with man, God has his part to play. And you, as man, you have your own part to play. You have your own part to play. And it will not be good that you, as man, you don't fulfill your part. You see, for each time the Lord appeared to his people, he always gave instruction. Now, if you must do a particular thing, now there's something we ought to have done to make this thing stay and reign. Okay? Now, God is talking to the children of Israelites. He said, I've made the covenant with you and I've said, I will not break my covenant. You people have not kept your part. You are not supposed to... Um, you're not supposed to um, make friends. You're not supposed to do anything with these people in the land, but you. Instead, you have. You, you, he said. He said you were to destroy their altars, but you did my commandments. He said, "Why did you do this?" So now I declare. Now the Lord is speaking now. He says, "So now I declare that I will no longer drive out the people living in your land. They will be torn in your sight, and." and their gods will be a constant temptation to you you see because they have not kept their own part the lord have allowed these people to begin to torment these people he have allowed these people to continue to torment the children of israel now um, so many times in our lives we we see some 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 sickness that will just be there you will pray you will do some certain things but they will just be there now I think this is as a, this is as a result of we breaking one or two covenant that we have had with the Lord in the past. So He has allowed some certain things to take place. You understand what I'm trying to say now, okay? And so when the Lord, when the angel of the Lord finished speaking to all the Israelites, the people wept loudly. They called the place of they called the place Bokim, which means weeping, and they offered sacrifices to the Lord there. Verse 6. Is after Joshua went, after Joshua sent the people away, each of the tribe left to take possession of the land allotted to them, and the Israelites served the Lord throughout the lifetime of Joshua and the leaders who outlived him. Those who had seen all the great things the Lord had done for Israel. And it's throughout the lifetime of Israel, throughout the lifetime of Joshua, and those that had lived in the, 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 the children of Israel, I served the Lord. They were serving the Lord. Now, you see, having a good leader, many a times you see, when the father is upright and is with the Lord, the children and the mother would follow suit. Many a times. Now, you see, it is good for us. To have leaders that have heart for the Lord, that has heart for the Lord. Okay, um, Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of the Lord, died in the age one hundred and ten. They buried him in the land he had been 
are located at uh, Timnatsara, Timnatsara in the hill country of Ephraim, north of Mount Gash. You know, after that generation, verse 10, after that generation died, another generation grew up who did not acknowledge the Lord or remember the mighty things he had done for Israel. Oh my God. Now, there was another generation who grew up. Now, why did this take place? This was as a result of the, the history of what had happened were not passed. And you see, even when it was passed, it was not emphasized. You see, the generation begin to take, they did not acknowledge the presence of the Lord and the doings of the Lord in their lives. They, 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 they did not think of, how have we, how, how were we able to get here? Where were we before? It was said that we were in Egypt. How did you cross from Egypt down to this place? They, they, they forgot all of this. They refused to acknowledge the Lord and his doings. And they were living anyhow. So the Israelite did evil, verse 11. The Israelite did evil in the, in the sight of the Lord and served the image of Ba. They abandoned the Lord and the, the Lord, the God of the ancestors who had brought them out of Egypt. They went after other gods, worshipping the gods of the people around them. And they angered the Lord. They angered the Lord. They abandoned the Lord to serve Ba and the image of Ashtoreth. Now, say this made the Lord born with anger against Israel. So, he handed them over to raiders who stole their possession. He turned them over to their enemies all around. And they were no longer able to resist them. They were no longer able to resist the enemies anymore. The Lord turned, he, he, he gave them up. He, gave, he, 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 he allowed the raider. The raiders to take over their possession they were no longer able to resist the enemy anymore see the moment you begin to see yourself not able to resist the enemy the moment you begin to see yourself fall you know that you have you have you have created you have, you have broken something you've broken something you have broken something you've broken a covenant that the lord had had with you now you begin to look into your life what is this promise this covenant that you have had with the lord you understand what i'm saying now that you that you have had with the lord now it may not necessarily be the promise you are you, you but, but as a christian they are bounding covenants that ought to stand in your life as christians you need to look into all of these and make sure that you have not broken anyone. He said every time Israel went out to battle, verse 15 I, I am reading, he said every time Israel went out to battle, the Lord fought against them, causing them to be defeated, just as he had warned them. The people were in great distress. The moment you begin to see yourself in great distress, you would know. Just know in your mind, the moment you begin to see yourself in great distress, know in your mind that something is wrong somewhere. They went to battle for the Lord to be fighting for them. The Lord was fighting against them and they were losing every of their battle. They were losing every of their battle. You go out for contracts, you go out for things, you go out for the daily activities and things continuously not work well. Now, sometimes it happens like that as temptation, yes. It happens like that for us trials and, and tribulation, yes. But you see, when it continually repeats itself over a month, over a year, it says, weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Only in the night, the weeping is permitted to endure. But when it's money, now joy would come. Now, when you begin to see weeping, both in the night and in the morning, then you know that something is wrong somewhere. Yes, something is wrong somewhere. And 16 says, The Lord raised up judges to rescue the Israelites from their attackers. Yet Israel did not listen to the judges, but prostituted themselves by worshipping other gods. How quickly they turned away from the path of their ancestors and had walked in 
disobedience to the Lord's command. Whenever the Lord raised up a judge over Israel, he was with that judge and rescued the people from the enemies throughout the judge's lifetime. For the Lord took pity on his people who were burdened by oppression and suffering. 19. But when the judges died, the people return to their corrupt ways. May you not return, may we not return back to our corrupt ways in the name of Jesus. May we not be like dogs who vomit and go back to eat their vomit in the name of Jesus. When we denounce, see, this thing is like the, the word of the Lord coming to you in the church and you give your life to Christ. You've repented of some 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 evil, some 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 characters, some bad attitudes. And you've repented of it. You've, 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 you've prayed that the Lord should help you to deviate from this attitude. Now, the moment you deviate from it, now, when you see yourself going back, when you, when you go back to that behavior, you go back to that character, ah, you are like the children of Israelites who would always return back. To, to their wrong ways. You are like you're not like a dog returning back to its vomit. Yet something you have vomited that is not pleasant. Because when you vomit something, it means that the stomach is not in accordance with that thing you have eaten. Yes, it has come out. But because of their gluttonous, because of, of, of their wrongdoings, they want to go back to eat that thing which the stomach had not accepted. Yes, it is not good for them, but they are not going back to eat it. May it not be our portion in the name of Jesus. May the Lord continue to help us to live right in His presence in the name of Jesus. And they refuse to give up their evil practice and stubborn way. 20 says, So the Lord turned, bond with anger against Israel. He said, Because these people have violated my covenant, which I made with the ancestors, and have ignored my command. I will no longer drive out the nations that Joshua left unconquered when he died. I did this to test Israel to see whether or not they would follow the ways of the Lord, their, the, the ways of the Lord as their ancestors did. Say so that is why the Lord left those nations in place. He did not quickly drive them out or allow Joshua to conquer them all. Now you see, sometimes people will say, Why do why did the Lord not just completely destroy the witches and wizards in this land? The mummy waters and the spirits. See, sometimes the Lord leaves these people there. So that all he is doing is to test you. Many a times you say, ah, you are poor. Ah, Lord, help me. Bless me with money. <laughs> Bless me with money. And the moment the Lord bless you with money, just 100,000, just for 1 million, just 5 million, just this little amount of money, just to test you, you begin to misbehave. Pride is taking over you. That op- that position you are looking for in your work, you are looking for promotion. The Lord just gave you promotion. How? How? How are you behaving toward that promotion? How are you reacting? Are you now oppressing people? Hmm? Are you not oppressing people? Are you not using the money that you support, that you beg the Lord, that he needs promotion, that you need promotion? The money that not paying you are not using to carry women upside, up and down. That period, see, sometimes I, would, I was telling somebody, I said some persons should be left in poverty. Because in poverty, they are lawyer. In poverty, they are humble. In poverty, they are nice. They are very good and generous. But you see, the moment they begin to touch you wet, they begin to misbehave. Yes, they begin to misbehave. So, I I pray for us that even in wet, even in good health, even in, in promotion, even in good business, even in family uh, and growth, we would not mess up. We will not mess up in the name of Jesus. We would not mess up in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we say thank you. Because of time, we are closing now. Tomorrow we'll be doing um, sh- um, um, sh- chapter 3, which is day 3. Please, we are to see you. We want to see you. We want you to come again and again and again so that you'll be blessed. Father Lord, we say thank you for today. As we go about our daily activities, we cover them with the blood of Jesus. Our going out, our coming in, is covered with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your word that has comfort. For Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Don't forget, on the 10th, ten, on the 10th night, 12 midnight, we'll be starting the midnight prayers. Yes. 
Yes, we will be starting the midnight prayers. We have, we have delayed for some time. We have got, we're trying to put some things in order. So, they are in order or not, we are starting the midnight prayer. So, we will come together and we will pray together as brethren. God bless you. Good morning. You're welcome.